What's up everybody? Welcome to my Moto Pilot channel. As you can see here, I got my Harley on a trailer. It's Friday morning and we're headed to the Mayhem Bullhead City River Run. Now, before you guys jump in the comments, give me a bunch of crap about putting my bike on a trailer. Give me a minute to explain. I've been doing the Laughlin Rally for like the last 15 years and it, I think it closed down for the last two years because of COVID. Now it's back, but it's at Bullhead City, which is basically right across the Colorado River. Laughlin was very cool because it was like a mini Vegas. It had casinos and the rally was right in front of the casinos. I want to document this one because I think this rally obviously is going to be quite a bit different because it's in a different location. We don't have the casinos anymore. I want to document it so a lot of you guys that are maybe on the fence about going, you can see what it's like. Hopefully next year it gets bigger, if it even needs to get bigger. Anyways, let's jump in the truck, head on out there. I'm in Riverside, so I'm about four and a half hours away. My first stop is I need to stop at Lowe's. I'm going to get some wood to make some planks for my feet when I'm getting my bike on and off the trailer. I have a nice wide ramp for my trailer, about four feet wide, but I need something for my feet. So let's hit Lowe's and get that done and then hit the road. All right, guys, we are at Lowe's. I got my two by eight planks. I cut them to six feet. That should make it a lot less sketchy getting that bike on and off that trailer. I'll show you my get up in a little bit when I get to Bullhead. Let me tell you what it says here about the event. Raffles, contests, live music, bike show, burnouts, giveaways, food and retail, beer garden. Uh, then there's next door, there's the Mayhem Tattoo Convention that's going down. I don't know, it sounds like a lot going on. It might be awesome. Let's gas up the truck for about a thousand bucks just to go about four hours away. And um, I'll explain to you guys my setup while I'm rolling solo and who I'm meeting up there and where I'm staying and all that. All right guys, so here we are on the road. It's almost nine o'clock. Should be arriving in Bullhead maybe around one, two o'clock, which is fine. And anyway, so let me tell you why my bike is on a trailer. I had planned on riding it, but I the bike ran fine, and then I tore it apart, got a bunch of powder coating done. The only things that I took off that really involved the engine was the exhaust and the rocker covers, and I put it all back together again, and when I rode it, it's running a little weird on the bottom. Like if you're cruising along, just barely got the throttle cracked open, the, um, the bike wants to starve out a little bit, um, like it's starving for fuel or, or something. So I'm like, I don't feel good enough to ride the bike all that ways. Something might happen midway. So screw it, I'm just gonna throw it on a trailer and, and haul it up. I mean, it runs good enough to take it to a rally. I just didn't wanna ride it all the way there. So that's why the bike is on a trailer. It was either that or not go at all. Now the reason I'm rolling solo is I literally put this trip together in the last three days. Um, I had the wife book me an Airbnb. She knows a person that has one in Bullhead. So I got a smoking deal on that. And she'd already had plans booked weeks ago, so she can't go. But I do have a couple buddies that are up there already. They got their girls with them. I'm gonna meet up with them. So that's the situation there. And I've got this whole Airbnb to myself, which is a little unusual. But uh, I got a garage my bike in at night, which is cool. So it should be good. Anyways, I'll see you guys in about four hours in Bullhead. All right, guys, we made it. It is a nice, warm 90 degrees here today. Check out the pad. Got a garage, keep the bike safe at night. And uh, nothing sexy, but you know what? It's really nice inside. So here's my wrap setup I was telling you guys about. Got a folding wrap here. And then I wanted these planks for putting my feet on. 
as I'm rolling the bike back just for a little more leverage so that worked out good let's get this bad boy unloaded All right guys, we're back at the house and it feels so good to be showered, clean in an air-conditioned building after a long hot day in the sun and a long ride. So let's recap the events from Friday and Saturday. So by the time I got here and got unloaded, it was about two o'clock and I hit up my buddies and they're like, hey, we're gonna be over at the venue. Let's meet up over there. So I jam over there and um, can't find them anywhere. Well, it turns out there are two venues and they're about eight miles apart. The first venue I went to was at the Bullhead City Community Park and it had a medium amount of bikes. And so I parked, I walked in and you know, very small vendor turnout, maybe half a dozen. Um, there was a big shaded area, a lot of people sitting under there drinking their beers, cooling off, huge stage. I imagine that as the day got later, there was gonna be a band firing up, but I didn't really stick around for that. Um, the vendors that were there had some very strange things that they were selling. It was just kind of like bizarre land, you know. I, I didn't get a good vibe from it at all. So I was only there about 10, 15 minutes and then I'm like, hey man, where are you guys at? They're like, hey, we're at the other venue. Come down here and meet up with us. So I jammed down there and we left the venue right away to go hang out and do some other things. So I didn't really get a chance to check it out. So that was pretty much it for Friday as far as the event goes we just went to the casinos had some drinks and la 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 so here we are today today's saturday and i was like look let's grab some breakfast let's jam out to old man you know that's always a nice ride so we go out to old man and um we get there and it's business as usual it is packed it's that the most packed i've ever seen it it was just crazy busy you know just like the usual scene a lot of bikes a lot of people you know, donkeys in the road, a few cops keeping peace and order. And uh, we just, so we just hung out there for a while, cooled off, had some drinks. And I were like, look, so then we jammed out the back way out of Oatman to take the long ride into Kingman and just kind of do the loop. And uh, that was a good time. So when we got back into town, I told my guys, I'm like, look, I want to go check out that other venue that was at Anderson Field House and see what it's all about. So jam down there and it's it's a cool place i mean it's like a it's a big arena like they hold music concerts there and stuff so quite a few bikes there definitely not packed but it was late in the day i got there like around 3 30 and uh, who knows how many bikes were there earlier or throughout the day coming and going parked walked around checking out the venues unfortunately only about 16 vendors were there selling stuff the usual soft goods jewelry, sunglasses. That was kind of, you know, some food trucks were there. Harley Davidson had like a rig there. And that was kind of it, man. It was like, none of the big hitters were there. No 18 wheelers, no no exhaust companies at all. No seat companies, no Kiriakin, all of its accessories, no wheel companies. 
No performance companies at all, not one. I, actually, there was one there and I think they were selling some sort of like clutches or something. And uh, they looked pretty bored. The, there was a stage there with a band playing, that was cool. But um, my take on the whole event is that the riders came out in force to support this event and the vendors let us down. I mean, all the vendors that copped out because they didn't think it was gonna be a big turnout. They were just, you know, it's been two years off. Um, maybe this, they thought it was a smart decision, but it was a bad decision. And that's why I wanted to make this video to get it out there. Whoever sees this, like, look, man, this event was packed with riders going up and down the streets, the riders over in Laughlin. Like I said, tons of riders out in Oatman, and as many riders here for this event that I've ever seen at the Laughlin event. So hopefully the next year, the vendors get word of it and they're like, all right, man, let's, let's open up our pocketbooks, make the time, come out and, you know, support the event. I really think this thing needs to get back in Laughlin because the dynamic of it being there on the main strip, having all the casinos behind you that you can go into and cool off and have a drink and gamble and everything is in one spot is very beneficial. The way the, the venues here were split up was pretty odd and very, very scaled down. But a lot of guys came out, had a great time. I had a great time and uh, I'll come back next year. I don't care what's going on. I just love being on my bike and being around the culture. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this recap and um, got through it safe and sound. And I'll see you guys in the next video.